This is a video to our presentation of Denison Mine Corp. Brought to you by AllFunnyStocks.com. Denison is an Amex listed stock trading on a ticker DNN. You can see even without scrolling all the way down, it's put together a nice climb. You can see the RSI showing nice momentum. This is a technical stock to watch this week. You can see it's pushed through some key resistance points. Now it's time to keep this on radar to see if this uptrend is going to continue and see if this old resistance level is now going to start serving as support. Very nice overall long-term positive divergence. Once again, right through here was a great opportunity for it to try and make a very strong move. It didn't happen, of course, really fell apart, fell through support, established a new support. But in the long-term picture of things, this price per share has still been trending down once MACD has been trending up. That's a pretty nice look. A bit of a PPO ADX pinch. It could really be debatable whether you'd even consider that a pinch or not. But a pretty nice position with the way this negative DI has come down fast, positive DI is moving up quickly. Then I have to start to look for this ADX to make a turn. It needs to make a rotation and show some real strength coming into a trend. At this point, it's still kind of neutral, showing that it's actually losing strength. MFI is just a great move. Buying pressure has been coming into this play, obviously. Starting to see a new uptrend in the accumulation distribution. Nice look through here is the shake of money flow as buying pressure slowly overtook selling pressure. CCI, of course, by definition. That break of 100 right there would be the buy point. It's a hold until it breaks back down below. Full stow showing great momentum coming into the play. And the Trix has made a nice turn. Got a bullish cross, starting to trend back towards zero. Pretty nice look to that as well. As I mentioned, RSI's strong upward movement. Any sort of pullback at this point, just want to see him hold over top of 50, stay in bull mode with momentum. One of the reasons this was a chart to watch this week was because to end last week, it actually gapped above the 50-day moving average. That's typically a pretty bullish indication. And it came out yesterday and pushed through this resistance level right around $1.40, $1.41. You can see it closed at $1.45. Nice liquidity, 1.5 million shares traded. Right about average for it. And now in the short term, I'm looking for to see if this is going to try and push upward more. And then if and when it does retrace, see if it's going to hold that. That's classic TA. That strong resistance level, you want to see it turn into support. And above and beyond that, holding the 50-day moving average, which will start to rotate that 50-day and get it moving towards the 200-day. If a deeper pullback happens, this should get pretty strong support back here around $1.25. Of course, that is kind of on the flip side of things right now, looking for the upward pressure to continue. But you still need to establish a support level if it does pull back, see if it holds there, and then tries to potentially make another strong move. Next level of resistance, I'd be looking right there around $1.74, $1.75. That was a strong area of support back here in June. It came back and served as resistance in August, and more than likely it's going to become resistance again should the stock continue to push north. But it's a pretty nice climb from a percentage standpoint to go from that buck 45 up to around $1.75, 30 cents a share. It's more than 20%. In general, very nice chart. So we'll keep our eye on DNN the rest of the week and see where it goes. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the Dennis and Mines chart. I'm not a financial consultant and strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence and consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AllPennyStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. Do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by AllPennyStocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.